Wise leaders look at what an employee can do rather than what he cannot do. When Alan Mulally became CEO of Ford Motor Company in September 2006, it was expected among senior executives that some, if not many, would lose their jobs. Mulally was the outsider, hired from Boeing for his experience in turning around big organizations. Yet, according to Bryce Hoffman's book, American icon, Alan Mulally and the Fight to Save Ford Motor Company, the newly appointed CEO did just the opposite. Mulally kept most everyone on the senior team. The lesson for leaders who evaluate people, that is, every leader, is to adopt a glass half full versus a glass half empty attitude. An executive who is evaluating talent should ask three questions about the individual. One, does this person have the skills to do the job? Most importantly, a staffer must be competent and fluent in the discipline he's being asked to manage. Competency is not simply a matter of knowing how to do the job now, but also the ability to do it in the future with new responsibilities. Two, what's been holding this person back from achieving? This question gets at roadblocks. Often people have been held down or mismanaged in such a way they have yet to prove themselves. Their skills have been sidelined due to an inept boss or maybe a lack of opportunity. It's important to explore this question deeply to decide if the candidate has what it takes to undertake new responsibilities. Number three, what can I do to help him succeed? A leader must engage in the employee development process to help unleash the individual talents. Sometimes it's simple. Delegate the authority and responsibility and watch the executive succeed. Other times, it will take the form of coaching and regularly meeting with the individual to discuss his or her progress and the challenges they're facing. There's one more important step, support from the boss. A senior leader needs to express confidence in the newly promoted individual to assure them that they have their backs. Talent is not a commodity. It's the lifeblood of the enterprise, and those leaders who look for it, nurture it, and seek to capitalize on it are ones who achieve their objectives.